today we're fitting out the van doors with tools. Hey, I'm Matt. Welcome back to the Handy Manual. Today we're focusing on one of the most underused areas in the work van in regards to storing tools. Utilizing the doors to store tools allows you to access tools quicker and to put them away quicker, making you more efficient. I'm going to show you how to attach your tools to your work van doors and some ideas on how to lay things out. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to share a unique way to hang a circular saw on your door so that it's secure and doesn't rattle around in transit. I'm also going to be sharing some general mistakes to avoid when attaching tools to your doors. Without further ado, let's jump into the build. Step 1. Attach plywood to the doors. Different makes and models of vans are all pretty much the same. They've got roughly the same curvature and factory holes to work with. So begin by cutting the plywood following the shape of the doors themselves. A jigsaw is helpful for cutting the curved shape. And for aesthetic purposes, you might want to round over the edges. It's much nicer to the touch to do so. Take into account the factory holes in the doors and aim to install toggle bolts at each corner. For the upper area, we'll be installing two struts that span across the window. These will be the base for attaching other tools and equipment like a caulking station or step ladder. Mark out the locations for these by clamping the wood pieces onto the door and drilling a small hole through the wood and grazing the metal. With the locations marked, take your step bit and slowly drill a large hole enough to fit a 3 16 inch toggle bolt. Install all the plywood with toggle bolts. Step 2. Decide what tools to hang. Now that you have your plywood installed, it's time to decide what tools you'll hang. For me, I wanted to hang my drill, step ladder, trash bin, contractor bags, my caulk gun and tubes, shop towels, a brad nailer, multi-tool, and a circular saw. You'd be surprised at what you'll be able to fit on there. Spend some time planning it out and what your workflow is like. If you've been following along in the series, you'll see that we've been designing shelves and drawers to house specific tools. I couldn't imagine storing the tools that I have on my doors right now anywhere else in my van. These wouldn't fit neatly in the shelves and drawers. So ask yourself, what tools are your staples that you use most frequently? Step number three, layout and configuration. Now that you know what tools you want to hang, you have to get creative on ways to hang them. Using PVC is really helpful. Also consider using spring clamps, mop hangers, hooks, and a variety of these kinds of products to hang tools. For my circular saw, the first couple of methods I used to hang it left it swinging around in transit. You want to make larger tools especially sturdy. Swinging the doors closed really jolts the tools and if they're not secure, they'll go flying. So I essentially built a housing for the circular saw with sides and used storage spring clamps to slide the base plate of the saw into them. This will take some iterating. You'll need to tweak things over time, but mock things up, hold tools up against the plywood and find an optimal configuration that works for you. Step number four, install the tools. With the layout in mind, it's time to go ahead and install the components. Take your time and install things correctly. Use short screws to attach PVC and pre-drill holes for them. Some common mistakes to avoid include not accounting for the depth of space in the van with the door shut. You don't want to install a tool only to realize you don't have enough depth to fully close the doors. Another one is having the upper struts jut out too far so that it pinches against the side walls of the van and prevents the doors from closing properly. And a pro tip I want to share with you is when drilling into the doors for the installation of the toggle bolts, drill a pilot hole first so that the step bit doesn't start walking from the mark when drilling. And you might be wondering if it's a good idea to drill into the door itself at all. I'll tell you that it's the best option to secure the plywood over time, if you use self-tappers, the force of closing the doors and while driving will pull the self-tappers out. So do it right the first time and install toggle bolts. And with that, the door racking is complete. Hey, I hope you enjoyed part five of this series on how to construct everything in your van. We're just about done. There's one more video left. I want to congratulate you for sticking with us this far if you have. You create so many more options for yourself by utilizing the van doors to hang tools and it's a great place to store your most frequently used tools. There's so many options for how to rack out your doors, 
Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful and what type of fit out you have on your doors. Thanks for watching, take care and be well.